Friday and hopefully I'm going to be getting these two bodies completely sewn up. One's a golden retriever and the other one's a squirrel for my needle leaf explorers. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I've started my vlog on Friday because I want to be able to pack a little bit more in for next week because I haven't filmed this month because I've literally just been doing like heads and pattern making and stuff like that. So I haven't been doing anything super exciting to be filming so far this month. So I'm just basically going to pack all the end of the month in with finishing my needle leaf explorers. So let's get cracking. skeletons a little bit differently for a little while now. Um, I've been threading stuffing around it. So before I'd just twist it into the metal like here and then just stuff it in. But I've been trying to flesh it out a bit more lately. Um, it just seems to help when you're actually moving it to feel more like a real body, if that makes sense. Um, the arms, I do it so that it fills. Get another arm. The arms I've been doing so that it fills the whole arm. Um, the legs and that, uh, you can't do that because it's really chunky and wouldn't be able to still bend. Because um, I only stuff it lightly in the stomach and the legs. But it's been going a lot better. Like it feels a lot more natural. So yeah, just thought I'd pop in and show you guys that I've been doing it a little bit differently. completely forgot that I was going to put little toenails on the golden retriever but I'm using the same method that I use to make teeth for my cats and I just cut the felt into like it's not a perfect triangle I've got the top straightened off a little bit and I add some water and white fabric glue or I guess you could use PVA glue as long as it dries clear and then just roll like my fingers until it's basically dry and then it'll come out in this little shape and I'll leave them all to dry hard and when they're perfectly dry you can trim them down but I'm gonna be making teeth on my bears and on the chipmunk's gonna have not chipmunk you call them chipmunk the squirrel's gonna have teeth as well but they're gonna be like chipmunk like squirrel teeth like buck teeth not um sharp pointy meat eater teeth so i will do the same method but just not rolling i'll just have the felt flat and i'll just like layer it in so it's saturated and then leave it to dry you're so cranky aren't you told moss i also somehow almost forgot this papa's toe beans so I don't know what one I'm living on today, but I use these teeny little tweezers and a teeny little bit of glue to glue them on before I sew them so that it's not dreadfully painful to try and sew something on that small. Just a little tip. Retriever body in 
that's done. Now just gonna get these all feet. Gonna get his eyes in tomorrow. And his ears. And I'll probably do his face later on next week. And his tail. He'll have a fluffy tail too. I just realized that I forgot his freaking claws. Ah, I don't know what to do. Oh, I didn't even sew his fingers on this hand. So like the threading. Oh my god, what am I even doing? made a shoe pattern before but bare feet and human feet are a different shape and I've changed the whole foot pattern anyway so this is a pattern for a bare shoe um, but I've been racking my brain over how to set these teeny tiny little eyelets that I bought because I'm an idiot and I didn't buy a setting tool when I bought them but I have a result this is the back um, between using this tiny screwdriver an elastic loop turner and a miniature hammer I've figured it out so I'm gonna have to order a proper setting tool that's specifically made for them but it will be coming from China so I didn't have enough time to order it and then know 100% that it would get here before the end of the month when I'd have to have everything done so I've had to improvise so it will take a little bit longer this Munted one was the first one I did. Um, didn't come out very well, but this second one will be the method that I use. So, yep, we'll be able to have little, oh, can you see? Little eyelets on the shoes, and that'll be wicked. One eyelet in, 50 million to go. No, not really. There's four on each shoe. Two, eight. There's 16 for each one. I can't math. Is that 32? No, that's only two dollars. Fuck. <laughs> I can't math. Many. I need to go.
baby's face is all done. Here's the scalp leader. It's got his little heart. And I just see these teeth. And his cargo pants on me the other day. And he's got his shoes on. So he just needs a shirt now. Um, I've almost got this golden retriever's face done. And then his head will get sewn on. And I'll make his collar and he'll be done. And all the others are waiting in the background. Thursday. It's been a little while since I've filmed, but I just want to show you guys that I've got Toby here finished. I didn't film too much of making him because otherwise it'll get a little bit um, repetitive. But he's the leader of the Needle Leaf Forest Explorers. Little scout troop. All these pockets are functional. Oh, I'm trying to get my finger in there. <laughs> um, we'll show you the back. Little um, I also finished a golden retriever for one of my oldest friends that I'll put a little video in here. And he's got a fluffy tail that's all needle felted with full rovings. He's super cute. And I also have finished Bobby, who is Toby's son and he's a very accomplished explorer as well and i've got all of his clothes done and we're just going to dress him uh, once again didn't film too much of making his clothes because it's all repetitive but um, this afternoon i want to get more of the skunk done and the squirrel i had to go buy eyelashes for them today because i still haven't got more proper doll lashes yet I'm looking forward to seeing him with his all his uniform on. He's already got socks on. <laughs> I've done a lot of work the last few days. Oh, and when I was making Toby as well, um, pattern making the clothes because I want simple things like a shirt and pants and shorts and that to be absolutely perfect. Um, and as you would have seen, it's a little bit difficult to get his pants on, but once they're on, they fit pretty well around his tummy. And with the belt, it's like seamless. So, um, he's also got a Davy Crockett hat, which is all belted. And then this is his book. That's his belt. There's a little buckle on there. His badge sash, which I still have the badges on. And his little tie. Ely. Put his little um, sash on. And this, it all comes apart too. So yeah, like all the layers, they're all, all the clothes are removable. We just made so much more of an effort to make so many more items of clothing for each and every one of them this time. And I don't know if I said before that I was never in Scouts or anything, despite how much I wanted to. So, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to. So, this is how I um, express that, how much I loved the whole idea. But you can't even see Bobby's face. his hat on and his hat has a little ear holes as well but because of the um, way his ears are it's a little bit difficult like once it gets on there it's fine but <laughs> don't really push it down <laughs> When I first, um, the first item of clothing I made for him was his hat, and when I first put it on, it looked so weird. Um, I think I might still fluff out this tail bit a little bit. I'm not sure. And yes, I am a little bit rougher with him than what I normally am with my dolls because I've started reinforcing a few things so that they are 
like he can be a bit more rougher like getting them dressed and stuff um his hat yeah so i made his hat first and it kind of looked odd but now that he's got the rest oh his shoes his shoes of his shoes and they match his hat too i tried to make sure everything matches his socks i don't know if i filmed making the socks either i feel like i filmed basically nothing i've tried to sew more of the clothing on the sewing machine as well that helps reinforce things a little bit better too makes them look so delicate before we put bobby's badges on i just wanted to make sure i get them in the right spot because i'm gonna put pretty much all of the badges on bobby because his whole story is that he's followed in his father's footsteps his father um toby he's a needle leaf forest ranger and he's inherited that from his father so long line of bear forest caretakers um so he's the leader of the needle leaf explorers and bobby's following in his footsteps and he's almost got all his badges and I guess we're going to say that he's a teenager, maybe he's 16 or 17 or something like that. Not with these little teeth, he's not who am I kidding. Um, so yeah, we're going to give him almost all of the badges. The Toby, he does have all of the badges. I'm kind of finding it difficult for the camera to focus. And he's in his little name tag. So that's all done with transfer paper. I can't remember if I filmed that either because like I said, I've been filming um, throughout the entirety of February because we do that now apparently. down a little bit because they're a bit um, glam for her personality. We've still got her little front teeth to go in but I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow and I'll probably put her teeth in then. So I'm just waiting for her eyelashes to finish drying and then we're going to sew her head on. She needs a tail too before her body's completely finished. Last night I made these little hats, little berets for Dominique and the squirrel who I've named Jessica. So let's see how she looks with her little hat on. My boyfriend thought it was funny um, that all their ears poke through their little hats. He only found out this morning because clearly he doesn't pay attention. <laughs> She's so cute. Her personality's come out a lot more now. Awesome. All right, let's sew it on. Hi. Today's Saturday. I just finished my first live stream, which went really well. Thank you so much if you joined me over on Instagram. But if you missed it, we worked on Jessica, which it's not going to focus. Um, we made her little braces. We did her eyelashes and started off her cheeks and her markings at the top. Um, so I'm just going to quickly finish them up now. And then I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow off. We also have Dominique's face done um yeah so i was just gonna do their tails and their dresses and they're done and i've got all of my explorers done and i'm like getting really excited to post them and do this shop update um some of the, my favorite dolls that i've ever made so that's pretty much it sorry i've made this like one week vlog into another month of a super long vlog but once again shit happens that's what happens with me so yeah we're getting close to the end now though so all right i'm gonna do a face i'm running a special it's free mm -hmm. 
We're up to doing Jessica's mouth threading now. So I put a stitch between her bottom of her nose and her teeth. And then I put two pieces of thread that come around the bottom of her mouth here to help give her a nice little shaped smile. This one is a top stitching thread. I always use Goiterman brand because they are better than everything else. So this one's a top stitching thread, but you can also get, um, I try and find another one. You can also get upholstery thread, which is this one. Uh, I don't know if it says actually on it. No, it doesn't say on it, but if I get, so these are very similar in color. But you can see the difference in the thickness of the thread that this is the upholstery thread and the upholstery thread and the top stitching thread are a lot stronger so if you wanted to use this for threading like that it's fine but you'd have to do multiple layers and it wouldn't be as strong and it being strong doesn't really matter too much but I like to just do one stitch <laughs> And I put a heck of a lot of glue down in that cavity where her teeth are. So, oh, maybe it didn't come out that high. So then we mark. Sorry, that was my chair, I'm not farting. Mark where I want it to be. Make sure they're even. I look at it upside down. Give it a little jiggle so I can see where the holders and then you don't take your eyes off that hole and I'm trying to be so careful not to stuff up her braces finishing detail and one side's tighter than the other. That bugs me. Let's release this one a little bit. Pull the other side a tad tighter. This is the back of Dominic the Skunk's dress. Normally I'd make them with snaps down the back, but because the dress is a front opening with little magnets, I thought I'd put a little hole for the tail and then it will have a little, go like that, a little bit with a press stud at the bottom. So you can put the dress on and then snap it underneath the tail instead of just having a hole and trying to put it over because the tail will be really fluffy. So hopefully it'll work well and both of them will have it because they're both going to have fluffy tails. So yeah, just thought I'd explain that. <laughs>
Perfect Dominique's dress all done. He's still a little bit wet from the erasable pen, but that's all good, it'll dry. Um, and then I just need to finish her tail. I'll get her dressed so I can make sure everything's fine. This is why I can never have a baby. <laughs> I suck at putting clothes on inanimate objects, let alone something that's moving and fighting against you. Oh my god. Oh, her shoes. Oh, and her shoes have little details on them as well. Um, her tail will be easy to sew on when it's done. It's got a little clip, and I'll just make the tail separately, and then when it's all done, Sew it on and then she'll be all set. I'll make a reel of getting her dressed to put up on Instagram and TikTok. Hi, I've got all my needle leaf explorers done now and I did actually have my adoption day yesterday and both Jessica and Dominic have been adopted. Um, I was hoping to do a little bit better um, with selling all of them but with the way things are at the moment I'm honestly surprised I sold anything. So Toby and Bobby are still available, maybe if you're watching this depends on when I get it out. Um, and I did make a mini bear and some spare little merit sashes as well. So we'll see how we go. Thank you so much if you did adopt Jessica or Dominique. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's probably really long. I haven't edited it yet, um, but it was like the entirety of February and a decent amount of March filming. But we got there in the end. Um, I do think these are the best work that I've done so far. So. I love them and it's the whole collection that I wanted to do as well. I didn't push myself too hard, but they are very detailed. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you join me next time and make sure you give the video a like. It will really help me a lot and subscribe if you're new. So I'll see you all next time. I love you so much. Bye.